Hello everybody and welcome, wow look at that face paint, and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Alright, I need to put on my hot weather armor because it just makes me feel very hot looking at her in that heavy duty armor. It's too much. Could you imagine wearing Nora armor out here? Oh my gosh. The Utoru armor would be okay. Karja armor honestly is bad because it's uh it's gonna she's gonna get sunburnt big big time. Whisper in the sand. Oh my goodness gracious, way up there. Yo. Oh, it's probably still technically closer than this is. I just worry so much, like a part of me really wants to go and do this because it's like, yeah, I want to unlock like new cool stuff, you know, um, but oh, another part of me very much hates doing the main mission first. I'd rather do all the side missions first, um, or at least many of them first because I, I don't know, I don't want to like miss out on anything. I don't want to progress the story too fast, you know. Oh, but I guess why not? Moon in the sand, brown hopes, can't do that one yet. Taste of victory. Oh, yeah. She may also be in need of help, of course. Sure, you know. Why not? I almost wonder if, like, this trail, this path. If there's like, I go whoop, and then I come up here. I think I will try to do that, but last time the tall neck really just annoyed me because it was like a whole, instead of just oh, finding a place to climb up and off you go, it was this whole sh unnecessary shindig. But let's hope for the best. Oh, do I have my stash nearby? I'll save the extra stock for later. Oh, now, what was that? Fiber zest. Where did I get that? I want to go figure out what that is. And also, that looks like a big machine got stuck up there. That looks like a like a wall that they tried to make for like the kaiju, you know, in Pacific Rim, which is the best movie ever made, by the way. Am I gonna fight scorpions out here? Oh my gosh, I see those whenever I'm camping in the Mojave. I don't think those are those are not I could wouldn't want to be caught in that. Heal, what are what? Are you just? You're just invisible? It's like body isn't there. You see that? It's like body's not rendering. It, that's weird. That's weird. Also, what is that a, is that one of those snout ones? <gasps> it's like a murderous anteater. Oh, that's cute. My controller is slightly vibrating. I wonder if I got caught in that. It, it would do some. It would do damage. Look, that one's also. Why are they invisible? Well, I was like, I see a. Oh, uh, oh, you're all not friendly. they all fighting each other? They're like picking on the one, it looks like. Oh jeez, nope, absolutely not. I don't want to deal with any of your problems. I'm leaving. There it is, there's the top.
I was like, at least this one's operational, but I think the, I think the other one was too. to get up on you. Hmm. Yeah. There's a way to climb this tall neck. Hmm. Ah. So I do have to go over there. Oh no. Spies. I was I, uh, well, here's my potential thought here is that I got to go all the way over there and glide over to here when it's at its peak or like when it's at its closest i don't know this is just me guesstimating because i cannot see any other way you know what? i'm trying to look it up i don't got time for this <laughs> i am going to look up how to do it oh so, luckily, IGN has this little warning that says the guide will contain minor spoilers for the Horizon Forbidden West story. While they won't detail exactly how the tall neck is unlocked, we'll make mention of the main quest involved, so be warned. If you would per prefer to remain unspoiled, turn back now. So, it's locked until I get something in the main quest. Interesting. Are you like a better grapple hook? Dang, that's weird. Like, why? If I want to run around getting all the tall necks and opening up the map, I should be able to do that. You could do that in the last game. I, don't, I keep complaining, but I love I love this game. But there are some things that they have locked behind weird, like arbitrary checkpoints now, where it's like everything was more open before. And now they're like we've upgraded the game by putting things behind walls that you cannot access until a certain point in time. I'm like. Okay, I guess I'll go here since I'm cl well. I'm... Well, what the heck? What the heck? Let's go. Which way? Am I going west? I think I am. Yes. Let's get the quest. I am pretty high above it, so I should probably get going on it. Why are there so many angry machines? Maybe, hear me out, I just run for it. Just hope for the best. I'm gonna run straight into a thunder draw at some point too. I can see it's a little highlighted thing up there. I was like, what is this? Is this like a crashed airplane? Yeah, this looks like a crashed airplane. Yo, you can just hide. Just hide in here. Fanghorn. The fanghorns are so vicious. Oh my gosh, it's the thunder jaw. I did not realize it was that close. I did. I just walked right into it. Please don't. Please don't see me in here. <laughs> no, please don't see me in here. I'll never get out. I'll die. I won't. I won't be able to make it. Overdraw potion. Sure. Oh, I already have one of those. Stamina, I don't care. Small health potion, that's good. I can have. Jeez. In the last game, I feel like that girl from, um. Uh, what's it called? Magic School Bus? No! Please, no! I don't know what to do. Oh, not happy to see me? I am not gonna make it. I'm gonna die in here. Yeah, I'm not gonna live through this. Okay. 
примела. Off a fang horn antler. Whew. Looks like melee increases your chance of getting things knocked off, which is nice. I just hide behind the machine, the machine corpse. I'm like, no, everything's fine. Running past a thunder jaw might be, uh, be a bit more than I bargained for. Could you just leave? Could you go? No, 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 no. Go away! I wonder, can I throw a rock? Will rock work on a thunder jaw? I need to make more smoke bombs, too. <gasps> blast paste? Ooh. Nope, I'm not gonna use blast paste on a smoke bomb. I'll just buy smoke bombs. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Oh, bye bye. Live and let live, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he's just, he's actually firing at me from that far away. That is scary. Just a big open desert. Why are there so many machines everywhere? Listen, I don't, I don't even want, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to. I don't want to interact. Dang it. Go, 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 go. I know they're all angry because of the derangement and stuff, but please. Oh, we're moving into a slightly different climactic zone. Wow, that's that's markedly different. Just going from like desert to like sort of semi rainforest. Those the fanghorns look so cool in the trees. They look really cool. Getting close to Ether's location. I said it would be in some kind of physical processor. That's a fighter jet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense that the closer we get to the locations where they like sequestered themselves, that they were probably places of importance back in the old ones days. What the heck? Is that a, is that one of those stealth jets? I think it is. I could reach the wheel. I might be able to use that to get uh -huh, in. Uh -huh. Yo. Ooh, blast traps, nice. Uh, this might be too big for one of those spider jets, but like the stealth planes. So we... And I found it. I had to watch a video. There's a reason there were treasure chests that way, is because they were leading me to this. Not that I can see anything in the dark. It's all tilted. I'm like, woo, it gives me kind of nauseous. Oh, wait, no. I want to. This is ah. Romeo requesting status update. Flight 41, you need to adjust your course to avoid the swarm. Can you respond? Over. Flight 41, please acknowledge. 
My sensors are showing their cabins depressurized. I think the crew has gone and they're on autopilot. Flight 41 is a ghost flight. Whatever happened to the people on that plane? They weren't there to respond. Hmm. Yeah, now I'm like, there's another locator beacon on the same frequency. Now that's spooky. It's a ghost plane, you know? Is that what I just opened? Yeah, okay. Where's the... There's another one on the same frequency. Blah, 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 blah. Where? I didn't even have it, didn't even have it open. Oh, where am I even going? Look, why are they all... <laughs> oh, now they're showing in. Oh, acid claw strike. How nice. I'm so glad that we can all just get to know each other. There is an unknown settlement. I accidentally clicked out of the quest. There's an unknown settlement, but it's in the wrong direction. At this point, I should probably just go do that far enough into the episode. Just gonna arrive at Aether and be like, bye! New plants. Ooh, jump. <coughs> Jungle little boy. Oh. An ancient ruin. Oh. Turned into a Tanakh stronghold? Could Aether be inside? Hello. Poking around's not gonna be easy with Tanakh's warriors everywhere. I don't know if that's supposed to look like that, but when it's like sort of not in focus, yeah. When it was not in focus, it looked like a mouse or a bunny rabbit. Look at all these fighter planes everywhere. What was this? At first, I was like, Mayan ruins? And then I was like, no. <laughs> We're not in the right place for that. F-38 Razor Wings, only one of four surviving planes used by Joint Task Force 10 during the Hot Zone Crisis, sixth generation, blah, blah, blah. Designed for air superiority, blah, blah, blah. Electronic warfare and intelligence gathering. Kindly donated to the museum by the Medina Society for Southwestern History. Okay, so these were... Potentially just like on display outside. Usually they're like raised up. That makes sense because they're both like perfectly angled, kind of. Usually the, they put the planes up on something. Maybe it was wood and it was eaten. Look at that. That looks like a bunny or something when it's not. I don't know why my game's having a hard time rendering. Oh yeah? I'm just, don't mind me. Just eavesdropping. The other soldiers are saying she will strike hard and soon. Then we will resist. As we must. Regala's forces may seem strong now, but- Her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight. But still, they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. Hold on. You, they have man? access to... Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Lai. <laughs> yes. You are known to us. I am Dekka, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's there's something. Is this where he is? Anything you need, the chief will provide. Oh. Come. Oopsie daisy. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? <gasps> yeah. Oh, so they do have some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The records of the, the ten. The ten. <gasps> I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the chief. 
She's like, no, I really, we gotta go talk to him. Um, hold on, who's... Oh, yeah, yeah. I think Christopher, one of my patrons, I'm pretty sure it was him who said that, uh, I wonder, wondering if the 10 for the Tanakh correlate to the 10 sort of sub-functions of Gaia. And I was like, whoa, but I wonder now they apparently have access to, like, some old world technology. Um, so the 10 are recorded in there? Or are they like 10 heroes that they chose that they have like records of or something? Let's see. These visions, you said they're the records of the 10. Who are they? Old ones. Who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound. But over the years, they've fallen into darkness. One by one. That is why chaplains are so important. She looks awesome, by the way. The bird motif. We remember all we can of the visions. Etched in our flesh. Passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark. But chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. She definitely got some cool bird stuff going on. What does it mean to be a chaplain here? We who outlast our youth study the visions and share their wisdom with our young. What kind of wisdom? How to be a true warrior. To fight with bravery and unflinching honor. And to know when to call for peace. Whoa. You can see for yourself when we go inside. She's determined. She's absolutely determined to get me in there. Why does Hikaru want to see me? We are at war with Regatta. And you've already shown that you can stand against her. I'm not here to fight a war for you. Not for us. With us. They certainly are demanding. But I won't try to persuade you. That is for the chief. He can be very convincing. Ill, it doesn't fall for charms very easily. All right, let's go see. This was a bad Kara. idea. He's in his throne room, at the far end of the. The grove. video needs to end. Come, be welcome among the records of the ten. Please get out of the. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Okay, pause. This is a perfect place to end it, I think. It might be a little bit short now that I think about it, because I did do a lot of running, but... This is exciting. I didn't think this was going to be a habitated place. Um, I thought it was going to be like the Minerva one, where I run in, and I'm just running around like a maniac. But uh, people are living here. And they have power and access to some old ones tech. I wonder if the Tanakh are like... Because the Allstorms like to tear things apart. They don't really do much with, like, the tech. They're more into the metal. The Utoru are into the machines more as a whole. They might they might give the Tanakh to run for their money on, like, the tech capabilities of their people. Karja don't. Nora definitely don't. That big no-no. Um, Utaru, no. They don't even do metal. They don't even do, do metal working, apparently. Um... So yeah, interesting. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, excuse me, really quick, I wanna say thank you to my patrons, to, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron, thank you so much, and Christopher, my tree tier patron, you're the super bestest, and thank you so, so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. And I'm gonna go, my brain is starting to break down. Anyway, thank you all for watching again, and I hope to see you in the next one.